Hey guys, I'm Mike and this is for all of you that are having issues with GTA 5 on AMD slash Intel switchable graphics. So you launch your game and you have an error message like this. If your exception code is in between those values, um, this should be the fix for you. As you can see I'm using the game in high performance and it should stay like that. So you open your downloaded files launch your game and launch the hotfix. Um, now if you open the game at the same time that you open the hotfix you will get an error like this and the thing you have to do is open your game wait a bit and then open the hotfix. Now that the game is loading um, you have to note something, this is an hotfix, not a permanent fix, that's something for Rockstar to do. Um, also it takes a bit of time to launch the game, so I'm just going to skip the video ahead when the game is loaded. So the game is now loading, uh, you can close this and close this and so if you come here and see GPU loads on my AMD 84% that means the game is running well. Now that I closed my shitty recording software you can see the game is running smooth even with fraps running. So now you can play your game and enjoy the game with decent graphics and no breaks. The settings I'm using right now is something like this. I'm using a bit more than I should but then again as long as it doesn't break it works, so awesome. Okay, for um, the ones who are curious about how does it work, um, I'm just stepping over the problem. As I said, it's it's just an hotfix. I'm just stepping over the the places where it is broke. Also, um, if for some reason doesn't doesn't work. If you get an, an error message like uh, the one I showed you in the beginning of the video, um, that means that you have to open options with notepads and adjust this count over here. Um, maybe higher, maybe lower, but for me 5 is perfect value. This exception code over here, um, I would like also to show you what it is. If you remember the beginning of the video, uh, I showed you exception codes. And this value over here is this value but in hexadecimal. So if you have a different code what you could try is eventually paste that over here, uh, that's calculator on programmer mode, paste it and then copy the decimal value here to see if it works. Well guys that's it, uh, I hope I can help you. Or this helps you somehow and good gaming.